Hey, good morning, people. Okay, so <clears throat> it's been a long, long, long journey uh, of applying, of doing so much for myself <laughs> to trying to survive at the Poconos. And finally, today is my first day of work. Okay, so, oh, um, I was, um, <clears throat> I was thinking of something that I forgot to tell you. When I was searching for work, for some reason, probably it didn't work for me because I'm not a person who has been in the military. But USA Jobs never has ever worked for me. Um, every job that I have applied that I supposedly qualify, nobody, no, n n never they call me. And I, and I feel that usajobs.com really do not call civilians like me, unless those civilians used to be military people. So... I'm not saying I don't recommend for you to go there. Maybe your story is different than mine. But as a personal experience, USA Jobs has never worked for me. <clears throat> never had an interview for them. So, to me, it was a waste of time. It was a completely waste of my time. So, maybe... Um, if you're a military person, um, if you have already worked for the state of whatever you, like Florida, whatever state you live in, probably you have higher chances to get higher there. But like starting plain and nothing. <clears throat> so USA Jobs, don't waste your time if you're not a military person. Don't even waste your time going there because it's not going to work for you. Um, the websites that did work for me was the ones I show you in past videos. <clears throat> and what really placed me back into work. And it's been a long journey because believe me, uh, finding myself professional work and dressing like this again <laughs> took some time. Okay, people? So... Basically, today is my first day of work. I found a job as a caseworker in, in the Monroe County place. I'm not telling you where I'm working because then you guys would be like, no, hell no. But I'm working as a caseworker. And, and um, I'm happy. Hope to pass probation. It's a six-month probation. Then after that, when you work for the county, you become something called state worker. And then from there, once you pass probation, your family's in, uh, entitled to the benefits of medical and whatever benefits they have for glasses, dental, blah, blah, blah. So for now, they do give me my medical because, you know, since, the f since you start, they give you that. So, you know, due to my conditions, uh, medications and all that stuff that I need. So I have to work in a place where they give some type of medical benefits or else I'll be like <laughs> pre-existing condition my ass right and um and you know hopefully you know I'm, I'm gonna behave <laughs> I'm not gonna be my New Yorker self over here I learned that the hard way um the Pocona area is a place where you you can be yourself in a way can be too New Yorker, you know, because they don't like New York over here, right? Especially, uh, they don't like um, anything that has to do with New York. And your your slang or your or your, you know, talking like this. And let me tell you something like that. No, <laughs> they're very conservative. Uh, they don't like people to ask too many questions in in nothing, you know, like nothing because they'll take it the wrong way and they might even accuse you of some type of what you know psycho whatever people so close like close this is my story you know like that 
um, experiencing like with my neighbors. She talks to me, but like on text. She never really visits me. You know, I was expecting when I moved here, I was expecting like that type of um, welcoming, like you see in the movies, that uh, they bring you a pie. It, no. <laughs> no, it didn't happen like that. I don't know, maybe once I leave here, the, the north, and maybe I go to the south part. My my plans start with my husband to move south one day, you know, but not now. The north is where you're really going to do your cash, where you're really going to do, you know, the whatever it is for your behis, you know, when you become old. So for now, that's not in my, for the next 27 years, so that's not my plan. But um, later on, my plan is to move to Orlando with my husband and live my the end of days you know in a nice warm weather not wearing to shovel <laughs> not worrying for none of that but who knows you know maybe they'll have some type of laser that melts the snow so that way you don't have to go um places like like um like the poconos really need to make it more appealing to us these people who are from the city and what i have noticed is that they they they're now investing in selling apartments which is great because if they now are really looking at the um investing of apartments that way people will like okay so it's not so bad moving to the poconos because someone will shovel for me <laughs> <laughs> and, and that is something that is really something for you guys to consider it like if they offer you a really nice condominium with great stuff in it like gym and pool and whatever and plus somebody's gonna shovel for you you should consider it because i live in a home and i have to shovel unless if i have to pay somebody i have to shovel myself and believe me you don't know how many times I had to shovel you don't know and it's like one after the other and after the other and like damn so imagine if I was old oh my god I'd be like I'm moving to Florida <laughs> so I, I guess that's one of the things that the investor should be investing more now don't concentrate yourself in building so much houses now concentrate in attracting people in apartments like for example built apartments of three to four bedrooms and you know families that would like to move here why not it, that 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 would be something great i mean if 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 i really saw something like that here i would consider it you know because um now that i see the chevalier now that I see the Chevrolet. So, well, those are my thoughts for today. March 25th, first day of work at the Poconos. And, and you know, I'm just going to keep it low, keep it nice. And through through time, I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna to let you know how it went. I'm very happy about, you know, this accomplishment because it wasn't easy. I waited since I moved here in July. And it's now March, going into April. So it took me a couple of months to really find a good job. So if you're planning to move here um, and you're going to leave your job in New York, don't leave your job until you find something here. And then, you know, leave it. I made the mistake that I left my job thinking that I was going to find a job very quick here. And it didn't happen. Because um, a lot of people were saying, oh no, you will find a job, girl. Mm -mm. And once you find it and try to find it close to home, you know, keep it and cherish it. Because if you lose it, you're not going to find another one. <laughs>